Okay, um, this is a comparison between using a upright axis where y is vertical and x is horizontal versus a tilted axis where x is tilted along the plane of the incline. We have a crate very similar to number two when what we reasoned in class where the crate is accelerating down the incline, the incline has a coefficient of friction of mu and it is tilted at an angle of theta to the horizontal. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to draw in the forces and go for the quick comparison before we start mathematically analyzing it. So we know the earth pulls down and the surface supports the object perpendicular, that's your normal force, and impedes the motion and that's friction. So we're going to draw in first the force of the earth exerted. So the force of the earth exerted will be pointing straight down, label this force of the earth on the object, okay, and perpendicular to the surface we have our normal force which is the surface on the object. Okay, Parallel to the surface impeding the motion is your frictional force. So you have friction of, oops, friction of surface on the object. Alright, now if we look at the tilted axis, all we're doing is changing the direction of x. We're not doing anything else. There's no difference between the interactions. So the force diagram is going to look identical. All right, so we have the force of the Earth pulling straight down. We then have the normal force exerted perpendicular to the surface. That's the surface on the object. And then we have the frictional force parallel to the surface. Friction of the surface on the object. Okay, now time to compare. So if we look at this, <clears throat> if we look at the upright axis, we see that the normal force is exerted in the y and the x direction at a certain angle. If we look at the friction, it too is also exerted in the y and the x direction, which means we're going to have to find components for both. Same goes with the acceleration over here. Okay, It is also directed in two different directions. So we have to find the components of three different things, two forces and the acceleration, when we set up Newton's second law. If we go over here and compare this to the tilted axis, in the tilted axis the force of the earth is the only thing we have to find components to. The acceleration lies along the x direction, so does the frictional force. The normal force is exerted along the y direction. So it will be much easier to solve for anything using a tilted axis because since the acceleration and the frictional force are parallel along the incline, the x direction is in that direction. They all share the same direction, and the normal force is perpendicular to the incline, and we chose that the y direction would be perpendicular to the incline. So this is why we are going to use this scenario here rather than this scenario over there. In case you had trouble in kind of in case you had trouble figuring out. <clears throat> visually what this would look like, I'd have to find the vector components of the friction that go to the right and up. I'd have to find the normal force components that go up and to the left, and I'd have to find the acceleration components that go to the left and down. When we compare this with the tilted axis, you only have to find the force of the earth that is parallel to the incline and perpendicular to the incline.